right, guys, let's get right to it. So today, if you're working on pushing your props and pushing your pixels, I want to share with you one secret that is going to save you whenever you are in a hurry. Slow is steady, steady is fast. That's as simple as it gets whenever you're working on your hobby and you are behind and you feel like you just have to get done. What I mean by this is we make mistakes when we are working too fast and we're not thinking about the things that we need to think about when we're building our props. And I'm going to share with you an example of why you have to pay attention to when you're pushing your props because it's easy to make mistakes. And if you do make a mistake, I'm going to share with you how you might be able to fix it. Specifically uh, on, on this matrix here, I've decided to show you a little bit about some of the options that are built in to the matrix panels and the custom models that may, if you've done accidentally screwed up, that can help fix something and allow you to still use the matrix panel even if you wired it incorrectly. So I have a couple ways to go about doing this. I'm going to start with the with the one that might stand out the easiest. So looking at this matrix panel on the right here, you can see um, it's a 600 pixel matrix. Okay, I'm actually going to make it three outputs. I'm going to put 200 pixels on each individual string. So 200 and let's say there is five, five uh, strands per string. So five zigzags per string. Now I have, oops, come on, there you go. Uh, I have set this up as a horizontal matrix. So that means it goes horizontally and it starts at the bottom left. You can see that right over here. And that bottom left means that I'm going to push my first pixel and you can even see it there. I wish I could zoom in. Uh, that is a turquoise colored uh, pixel node and that denotes the first pixel in the prop and where it should be from the front side, not from the back side, but from the very front side of the prop that you're viewing as the viewer of your show. So why is this important? This is important because you need to know where to start whenever you start pushing your model. Now in XLace we have two things that we can get into. We can get into the wiring diagram. If we right click, select the model, hit the wiring diagram, and we expand this out. It might be hard to see some of it all, but you'll notice at the very top right of the screen it says, caution, reverse view, model, and it gives you your model name. Now keep in mind, if you have odd numbers on your strands, odd numbers on these strands, this could cause a little bit of frustration and havoc for you. And I'll show you why. Because if somebody's helping you push this, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, and this is the this is the rear view, this is the rear view looking at it from behind. Somebody starts pushing this pixel, going all the way over that way, going up one, going all the way back and then they come up and they go all the way over and they go up and all the way back so they end up the end is on the back all the way to that other side of the screen and what happens if you notice right here it says two colon one well if people aren't paying attention and they're helping you you might notice that that right there's the 201 if we scroll over There we go. You can see string number two starts back over there. This is confusing, right? I'm going to try to make this a little easier. Let's look at it from the front. Let's look at the node layout. And the node layout is helpful because it breaks the colors down for each individual output. What does that mean? Basically, that means that here's node one looking from the front now. You have node one, string one. We'll go all the way over here to the very far right. We'll scroll this over. Let me bring this onto the screen so you can see it. See how it says node number 40, string number one, and up here is the last one. Every five rows is one output in this model. If you have an odd number of rows, keep in mind your next pixel that you push on the sixth, out, uh, on the sixth string or the sixth run is not here. So if somebody's helping you and they accidentally push the model, the second output completely in reverse, now you have to find a way to fix it. So I'm going to share with you how you might go about fixing it. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And even though you have this model in there, 
what you can do is you can export this model and we do this by selecting it right clicking and hit export as custom X lights model I'll leave it as demo model demo dot model that's the name and then we'll go ahead and re-import this so here we go hopefully we can get this good we'll select it click open and I'm not going to worry about aliases because we're just trying to fix things here so now notice that it says it only has one string and it's not a matrix model it is a full-on custom model by X lights which means we have the ability to go in and click on the model dialog right there and now what we can do is we can do something called reverse strands so notice 1 through 40 41 through 80 this is looking at the front this is the exact same this is the node layout view only it's in the custom model dialog now we know one two three four five we have this whole these first five rows those are correct the one that's wrong or incorrect is this one here so if we have see how X lights exported the, this is the first output here this is the second output right here and this is the third see C1 201 and then 401 if you try to run the effects they're going to run backwards on that center five strand so this is what you can do to fix your model you can click and drag and the entire length here and what we can do is right click and we can flip horizontal flip selected and watch what happens remember 201's over here flip horizontal selected right now boom look at that 50 or 201 is all the way over right straight above me there and now if you look here see the zigzag here's your 1 through 40 41 81 and then come back up and then come back up here's 200 201 now we can flip all of the rest of these and I think I think I'm pretty sure we can take this entire set here right click and flip horizontal selection so that should fix look here 201 to 240 241 all the way back over to 280 281 back over to 320 321 back over to 361 I know this is long and here's 400 now here's 401 that's exactly how they pushed the model because they just kept going or you have just kept going this is an easy way for you to go in and make a very very quick fix to your model and click OK click the save button and then then you can do something called right select the model right click replace a model with a model and you can go to demo and or, or your matrix panel and click OK replace this model use original size of the posi position of it yes and poof your mistake is now gone now all you need to do is come in down here and change your number of strings number of strings is uh, three strings once you click on that click and add individual start nodes put a checkbox in there and X lights is intelligent enough to divide it by the number of strings that you're using and figure out how many pixels should be on each output and it will tell you the start number for those pixels if you happen to be wiring things a little differently you can adjust your start channels to suit your needs but in this case pixel number one pixel 201 and pixel 401 those were for our first three starting pixels well guys I hope this video was helpful informative and taught you a little bit of something about X lights that maybe you didn't know and that is everything I have for you guys today thank you so much for watching we hope you have enjoyed this edition of Twinkle Tip Fridays and if you haven't done yet so give us a huge thumbs up because this is a great video to share with other people because you know everybody is going to make a mistake at some point in this hobby and this little hint is going to be super helpful especially for those that are going to run into this problem it happens to the best of us I've screwed up a number of times life happens man but it's how you recover and how you stay at it and never give up and just keep on going to do the very best job that you can. Guys, like the video if you like it. Share it with everybody else if you loved it. Don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button down below and don't forget the bell for notifications. If you haven't done yet, so you can order our PPD t-shirts. They're brand new, they're fresh, they're in the store. 
Link is down in the video description. Pick up one today. And if you appreciate the things we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, you're welcome to join us every Tuesday night for our webinars or our Tuesday get-togethers. We get together every week in our Zoom room, link is down in, in on the website and in the video description. You can join our Zoom room and hang out with us every Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Guys, that's everything from me. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye for now.